Hey, what's up, ANC Youth? Uh, today's Devo comes from Daniel chapter 7, verses 15 to 28. And a little background is that Daniel just had a dream about four beasts, uh, which represented the four kingdoms that were to come. And in today's passage, Daniel zooms in on the fourth kingdom. And I think it's easy for us when we read a prophecy passage like this to kind of get caught up in trying to figure out uh, what kingdom this was or is. Like, was this the Roman Empire or the British Empire or is it the U.S. now? And you see, while there are a lot of different interpretations, I think it's important us to, for us to really focus not on what this kingdom was, but rather what kind of this kingdom was or is. You see, in verse 25, this kingdom is described as a kingdom that speaks words against the Most High and wears out the saints of the Most High. What we see is that this kingdom, this power of this world, it is, is against God and God's people. What that means is if we consider ourselves Christians, then what we believe in, because, and also because of who our king is, um, there will be persecution. There will be ways in which what we say and what we stand for will be against uh, what this world says and stands for. And in those moments, I think we have two options. Option one is to give in to this world, and option two is to persevere and to cling on to God. And the way we do the latter is by looking to the, our future hope. And um, Daniel sees this in verse 26 and 27. It says, But the court shall sit in judgment, and his dominion shall be taken away. And, uh, and it says in verse 27, And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. And his kingdom shall be an everlasting kingdom. You see, we have this future hope that this world is not the end but rather um, that we are going to be with God, our, our King, our Heavenly Father, where His kingdom will not be temporary, but rather eternal. And so I hope that all of us today could look to this future hope and be strengthened by it. Have a good day.